What is up YouTube? My name is Buddy Blues and today we look at the Airchild 66. This cool little thingy. Compressors are my jam. A lot of YouTube creators don't like to do compressor videos. I'm your guy. If you have a compressor, I'm your guy. That's what got me into pedals anyway to begin with. The J Rocket Airchild 66 is a recreation of the Fairchild 66. It's one of those really, really like coveted, the, the golden ratio of compressors, like studio grade compressors. There was another one that was stereo, but the 66 was indeed the one that was mono. And that's what this is modeled after. I knew all of this because of my time when I owned a studio in Nashville. In 1976, I ran a studio in Nashville. There in no way I had to Google any of this information five minutes prior to hitting record on the camera. On the pedal, we have output tone blend threshold. I've said it in a previous video, I'll say it again. Any compressor that does not have a blend knob, I don't really look at. I've, I've, I've done a few because they had a few other cool things, but anything that doesn't have a blend will quite, honestly never go on my board. Blend nom is really important. It's what blends your compressed signal with the uncompressed dry guitar. A lot of compressors cut the output, cut the volume once you start compressing and stuff. This you can bring back with the output. You can also use the output to drive the amp. We're gonna do all of that. Tone is tone, usually, right? Go this way, you add brightness. Go this way, art darkness. A compressor sometimes darkens your tone so you can bring it back. But what this also is, which is very cool, is that it's a tilt EQ, meaning when I go this way, I'm pushing the EQ, right? Think of the EQ, like a point on the EQ that you're pushing. I'm going this way now, I'm adding a lot of treble. If I go down, I'm adding bass, but I'm also cutting the highs. Brilliant, so this is more of an EQ and a tone presence knob, if you will, or a treble knob. Then you've got threshold, threshold. That's how you add your compression. That's adding compression to the signal. Simple, okay? Top mounted, blah, 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 nine volts, who cares? I, some people do, I don't. If, if the jacks are on the side, I don't care. I'll make room for it. This is excellent, this is going on the board, just like most J-Rocket stuff. I can sit here and talk, but let's get funky. You heard it with the perfection of an instrument that is the Frank Brothers, this guy, with the two Charlie Christian pickups. More on that later, but I am in love with this guitar, in love. Now we're gonna hear it with my red Satikoi, single coil, single coil, humbucker, silk tone oxbox, let's get to it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes, it is something you have now heard. The Air Child, 66. Little brother of the Fairchild, 66. I think the Fairchild is somewhere around $12,000. I don't have that. <laughs> I don't have that at all. But I have this, and I'm happy to have this. You see what I mean by it's how important the blend knob is? You, unless you want to do like the really compressed chicken picking, whatever, which I can't do, but I used to do it in Nashville in the studio that I owned in 1976. <laughs> Wasn't even born. But it really does do wonders to your tone, doesn't it? Because it adds whatever you want while keeping your signal the same. This is a great addition to J Rocket's lineup. J Rocket are known for their overdrives. They're known for their Dumble this. They're known for this Billy Gibbons that. They're known for the Archer, obviously, the Klon. It's, it's many regard it as the closest thing to a real Klon that has ever come to the market. So them coming up with this is very cool. Now we're going to like the studio stuff. I wonder where they're going next. I know where they're going next, but I want, let's all wonder together where they're going next. <laughs> if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. If it's not, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. You've been seeing a lot of videos of this from different creators. We've been trying to like stagger it so that you could see different players do their different thing. But it's always an honor to be on a release of this magnitude. I mean, we've got the coolest guy in the industry, Clean Tone Andy did one. Please consider liking, sharing, subscribing. Uh, if you enjoyed this video. If you didn't enjoy this video, like and subscribe, and then on each future video, tell me why you hated this video. <laughs> I, <laughs> I have been Buddy Blues, you have been the people of the blues. Until next time, thank you for watching. <laughs> Can you imagine?